His songs will live on for many years. Younger musicians describe him as an inspiration. Shane McGowan changed Irish music for all and he made it accessible for everyone and without Shane McGowan there would be no Mary Wallopers. What got me into traditional music and Irish music in general was probably uh, himself playing with uh, and the Pogues playing with the Dubliners on the Dubliners 25th Late Late Show. More established performers have many fond memories. He came out to their studio in Dunleary and we just had a great, great night of recording and he was playing the electric guitar and he was just you know, having the bass and all I remember was driving him in the next morning um, at seven o'clock in the morning, everybody going to work. And Shane was in the front with a glass and a bottle in his hand and we were still kind of singing. The love of Shane's life, his wife Victoria, described him as the most beautiful soul and beautiful angel and the sun and the moon and the start of everything. He had a childlike presence, you know, he inspired he inspired love to be around him. The president in his tribute said, one of music's greatest lyricists. So many of his songs would be perfectly crafted poems. If that would not have deprived us of the opportunity to hear him sing them. There's no question about it that in 100 or 200 years time, Shane's songs will still be being sung and that's really the greatest, that's the greatest test of all. He pushed traditional music without, I think, without with, with, with great respect to, to the actual source and to, to, to the tradition, you know. From the Irish in Britain account on X, he was one of our own. For Irish emigrants everywhere, Shane was our poet and scribe. We will never forget him or his legacy. Coleman O'Sullivan, RTE News.